I call uh, Melissa Lee. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you so much for the um, uh, opportunity to take a call on the Substance Addiction Compulsory Assessment and Treatment Bill. So, as a new member of the Health Committee, I, I would like to first of all start by commending the work that the Committee has actually done. They do important work, and I'm only just sorry that I haven't actually been part of uh, the deliberations on this very important bill, but I am here to support the third reading of this bill. Um, so this bill will help support the needs of people with severe substance addiction um, and significantly impaired capacity to decide on treatment, get better and get the help that they actually require. And having actually had the experience of intervening uh, on a friend who was uh, impaired by drugs, uh, who was very suicidal and almost homicidal, uh, although it was many years ago, uh, it is quite a stressful thing for friends and family who are actually involved with people who actually have drug addiction. And also have seen friends' families break apart as a result of um, um, uh, meth uh, addiction by their children. And as a parent of a teenager, you always wonder whether drugs are going to be around them and you are actually always frightened for your children. So it is important for all of us as New Zealanders to support the vulnerable in our community. Um, and a key way of doing this is reaching out and ensuring that those who have had long-term and high-risk dependencies uh, on substance abuse can be cared for appropriately rather than the stigma and punitive punishment they can actually endure currently. And I agree with some of the comments that was actually uh, made in this House earlier, sir. Um, um, as other members have actually said, the bill originates as part of an extensive work undertaken by the Law Commission in 2010 and will make significant and workable steps towards getting treatment um, um, for tough alcohol and drug um, and other substance abuse issues, sir. Um, and uh, the bill will repeal and replace the Alcoholism and Drug Addiction Act of 1966, which is very outdated. So without wanting to waste time of this House, I commend this bill, which is really fantastic. 